All right, let's make some measurements on this. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is some Bodhi plots. Uh, that's the appropriate tool to be looking at this. So a, uh, a low cut, a low cut to nothing. So we're going to try to go as low as we can. So the low cut's going to go to uh, 10 hertz, okay? And the high cut will be at 100 times 100, so it's going to be at 10 kilohertz, okay? So should be uh, nothing, and then at 10 kilohertz it should be flat. And so let's go ahead and set up the uh, set up the Bodhi plot here. And we can do uh, parameter settings. So we're going to be doing uh, 100 hertz to 100 kilohertz, 11 points per decade, amplitude 1 volt, and then we're going to say go. And what it's doing is it's uh, outputting a signal and measuring that on channel 1 and then going through the filter into channel 2 and it's measuring the input and the output and right now both the input and the output are exactly the same so you can see them on the trace over there they're they're basically the same amplitude and the same phase so they just look like one thing but now you can see maybe there's a slight separation in the two we're going to be starting to see a phase change as things get closer to the uh, uh, design point of the filter. So here we've got quite a bit of phase change now. And you can see that the uh, phase is moving. That's the green trace on the on the uh, Bode plot. And the uh, the amplitude is now going to fall off. That's the uh, purple trace. Okay. This is a fairly coarse measurement. If, you, if we set up finer points, we'd probably get rid of that little bump there in the uh, bump there on the purple trace, but yeah, they're, they're pretty good. So there you go. There's the Bodhi plot of a uh, um, hundred, I mean a 10 kilohertz cut filter. Okay. So it's flat until it gets to 10 kilohertz and then it rolls off. And then you can see the phase changes as, as we go. Okay. So now we're going to do uh, just the opposite. We're going to set the uh, high filter to as high as it can go so it won't cut anything. And then we're going to cut the low one. Uh, let's see, we'll go to uh, we'll go to 1K. Let's see, that's a 10K. This is 1K. So we'll go to 1K. All right, so let's start up the Bodhi plot again. So now uh, the high should pass everything and the low should not pass anything until 1 kilohertz. And so it should come up and then uh, when it gets to one kilohertz, it should be at its maximum and that should go flat. So you can see we're starting out with lots of phase differences now because we're way away from the cut of the filter. You could probably learn, a, uh, probably earn a PhD in uh, filter design and phase shifts and everything. So it's pretty complicated. There we go. So now the phase is kind of coming in line. The amplitude is in line, so now we're in the maximally flat section of the filter, and it's just going to continue like that until we get over to, uh, to 100 kilohertz. Okay, so now let's do a combination. Uh, we have one kilohertz, and then let's go ahead and put that 10 kilohertz back in. So we'll go here to 100, and we'll go here to 100. So that should be 10 kilohertz. So this should look like a bandpass filter. It should come up at one kilohertz, and then it should start falling off again at 10 kilohertz. Let's do that one.
And there we go. A uh, very nice bandpass filter. And we can use the cursor. We can say uh, that's about the middle of the uh, middle of the filter is about there. So it's about uh, 4.3 kilohertz. And it rolls off on both sides. And, uh, yeah. So this is a really useful um, filter to make certain measurements if you want to get rid of particular frequencies. If you have uh, um, harmonics that you want to get rid of or noise that you want to get rid of in a certain pass, you're interested in just one particular signal, you can put in a band pass. I believe there's a specification for power supply ripple um, and you actually have to send it through a low pass filter uh, to do that measurement correctly. So we might we might do that at some point in time. I think this is the filter that, that people generally use to make that measurement. But uh, if people have any other ideas for using this filter or any stories about how they've used this filter uh, to make measurements at work, I'd, I'd be curious. I know they sell lots of these things and they still build them today. They build much fancier ones than this, um, but they still sell them today. So they're, they're Somebody must be using them for something. I've just never really seen them at my workplaces, not, not that I've been in that industry, but um, maybe in the audio industry, recording industry, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know.